good afternoon everyone uh, for my people on the East Coast good afternoon uh, thank you for joining for my people on the West Coast good morning to you I think it's still morning on the West Coast hey hey yes good afternoon I uh, hope all is well with everyone uh, I got a little something to say a little midday uh, inspiration so if you be so kind uh, as to invite followers I don't have anything long to say but I have something meaningful to say if you be so kind as to invite your followers uh, take my word for it this time I have something uh, to say hope everyone is well though while we're inviting followers and for the people who are in the Midwest region specifically Michigan uh, hey Nicole for the people who are in Michigan we are certainly uh, spring is on the way amen it's winter but spring is on the way hey I won't keep you uh, we'll share the word through replay I guess if people can uh, can get it but uh, I'm at work hi Tara uh, I'm at work and um, I was walking out of my office going to Hey Man of God in Louisiana. I was at work uh, and I was walking out of my office and I was walking uh, up to a door and when I went to push the door, uh, the door did not open as it used to, uh, as easily as it used to open. And so I had to kind of put a little force into it to get the door to open, but the door did eventually open and I didn't hit my nose or my face or anything like that. And I was thinking as I walked throughout the building how it is that there were some doors, just like that door, that used to open very easily with little to no effort. As I mean, like I could literally push the door with one finger and the door is coming open. But that same door today uh, barely opened for me. And it barely opened for me because the frame of the door is now warped. The frame of the door is now warped. And so I had to put a little more energy uh, into opening that same door. And it did open for me. But if I were in a hurry, I might have injured myself, I might have bumped my face into the door, might have been comical at first, might not have been comical later on. And the Lord began to speak to me uh, that very oftentimes when we do not properly discern the different seasons that we're in, that Hey, from Arizona. Thank you, uh, Prophet Brumfeld, for inviting our sister from Arizona. Stay tuned. We got something for you. Um, it is that uh, when the door was pushed or when I opened the door, it did open, but it did not open with ease. And we have to understand and properly discern where we are in our lives right now that things, that you, doors that used to open easily for us, uh, maybe it is that we're in that in-between season where God is stretching us and we are no longer comfortable where we are and we're going somewhere else. Hey, Kiana, we're going somewhere else but it's not, we haven't exactly gotten to that new place yet. And this is what the Lord shared with me that I wanted to share with you, that he is opening uh, new doors for us. And I know you've heard that before, but just stay tuned for a moment. He is opening some new doors for us. Now, I thought I could have gotten a few hearts there if anybody believes that he is opening uh, new doors for you. He is opening new doors for us, and he told me to tell you that it is not a trap door. It's not a trick. It's not something that's going to look to be positive uh, from a distance. But then when you get up to it, you're going to find out that it really wasn't all it was cracked up to be. It's not that kind of door. It is also not even a revolving door that we're going to go in that door and then we're going to go in a full circle and wind up back out on the outside where we started. What he really told me was is that he is opening uh, a sensor door. You know, those sensor doors that as you walk up to it, you don't even have to do anything. But once the door senses that you're close enough to it, it opens for you. And so if you are sensing opportunity and sensing that there is an open door that's coming for you, then you got to know that the door is sensing that you're coming as well. I want to just encourage people not to be weary in well-doing. And I'm talking to myself just as sure as I'm talking to you not to be weary in well-doing because all of the promises of God in him are still yes and amen. And sometimes we get frustrated and we get frustrated with the process. And anytime we get frustrated, frustration that goes unchecked, 
abort leads to fatality. But in the name of Jesus, you will not abort your dream. You will not abort your mission. You will not abort your vision. You will not toss aside the promises of God in your life. God is bringing you before open doors where the frame is not warped. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to push a handle. You don't have to push a button. All you have to do is walk up to it. You're not going to bump into it. You're not going to crash into it. But as a matter of fact, before you ever get there, it's already going to be open for you because just as sure as you're sensing opportunity, opportunity is sensing you. Hey, be blessed. I'll talk with you later. Uh, it's going to be on replay. So if you didn't get a chance to invite your followers, uh, they probably need to hear this word too, because we're in this together. And I love you with the love of the Lord. Let's make it a great day and let's continue uh, to anticipate open doors. Be blessed.